Yo, yo, microphone check, make it a microphone check Give it a microphone, I make the make it a microphone dead Don't step to me, newbie, I could truly be moody I could have played the fucking Grinch in the movies I've been a part-time shadow cat, part-time That is not a guy that I would ever want to try to battle rap Snap, crack a pop, mind fried to a crisp Make an MC into a wide-eyed lunatic Let me teach you, I could defeat you with two hands tied and have you waking in the hospital like who am I? And who are you? Who are they? What is this? You wouldn't believe us, I'ma react to this shit. The mind slips, slip, slip and speaking in tongues. Sly ink, GVA, that's how we get it done. Uh That's how we get it done, uh. That's how we get it done, uh. That's how we get it done. Sly ink, GVA, that's how we get it done, uh. Try to battle rap, snap, crack a pop, mind fried to a crisp, make an MC into a wide-eyed lunatic. Yeah. Let me teach you, I could defeat you with two hands tied and have you waking in the hospital like who am I? And who are you? Who are they? What is this? You wouldn't believe us, I'ma react to this shit. The mind slips, slips, slip and speaking in tongues. Sly ink, GVA, that's how we get it done. Uh That's how we get it done, uh. That's how we get it done, uh. That's how we get it done. Sly ink, GVA, that's how we get it done, uh.
check, make it a microphone check, give it a microphone, I make the make it a microphone you? dead. Don't step to me, newbie. I can truly be moody. I could have played the fucking Grinch in the movies. I've been a part time shadow cat, part time. That is not a guy that I would ever want to try to battle rap. Snap, crack a pop, mind fried to a crisp, make an MC into a wide eyed lunatic. <laughs> Let me teach you. I could defeat you with two hands tied and have you waking in the hospital. Like, who am I? And who are you? Who are they? What is this? You wouldn't believe how someone react to this shit. The mind slips, slips, slipping, speaking in tongues. Fly ink, GVA. That's how we get it done. Uh. That's how we get it done. Uh. That's how we get it done. Uh. That's how we get it done. Fly ink, GVA. That's how we get it done. Uh. What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to Comic Aussie. Well, I have finally recovered uh, from Terrificon. Uh, it was quite the adventure. Uh, I was really tired when I got home. Uh, I just saw the walking around. Uh, we drove. So that took a lot out of me. Um, but I would do it all over again in a heartbeat. So I thought uh, it'd be kind of fun to just do a, a wrap up of uh, some of the raw books that I picked up, some of the trades that I did, some of the other graded books that I picked up, um, and just kind of go over you know, overall what, what my impressions are with uh, Terrificon. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's get into it with some of the, the books. But before we do that, I just have to say, uh, making the choice to go to Terrificon was probably one of the best things I've done within the realm of this community. Um, first and foremost, I just wanted to go there to meet everybody um, from IG, from YouTube, um, from other realms of um, the, the community, artists, um, writers, etc. So that was my ultimate goal to, to go there. Also to hang out um, with some good friends that I've made um, in this community. I traveled with uh, Actual Dracula, and um, Newbie Comics, uh, both awesome guys. Uh, we had a ton of fun, uh, great adventure. Again, we drove there, so we had a lot of laughs on the way there. Um, uh, we were a little bit tired on the way back, so, um, but yeah, just a ton of fun. I would definitely do it over again next year, for sure. I'm going to, for sure, go back to Terrificon. I'm gonna try and make it to um, C2E2 if I can um, negotiate. I don't know if they're going to be back to back again like they are this year. I would love to go to uh, New York Comic Con, King Con, etc. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm hooked, 100% hooked. I did have a few goals going into this con. Um, a couple were to make some trades. Uh, I did want to hunt for some uh, raw books, some specific raw books, and um, yeah, I accomplished most of my goals. So I'm I'm pretty happy with uh, with the outcome. But uh, I thought it'd be just fun to just to go through um, some of the stuff that I brought back with me. I thought we'd just start with, uh, I brought a bunch of, um, I did some hunting through some some bins, uh, definitely some, some cheap books for sure. And uh, you just had to, you know, kind of 
work your way through um, all the dealers and just to find all those deals. So I just brought some of the highlights from um, going through those bins and um, just some of the deals that I got. One of the um, um, dealers I went to had a box of 50% off books. So anything that was in there was 50% um, off. So I took advantage of it. I grabbed stuff like this, uh, Darth Vader one. This is you know, half off 25, which is a great deal. I think this one was 10 bucks. This one was I think half off 15. This one was pretty cheap too. Happy I found it in a newsstand. Um, I'm trying to find all those uh, number ones in a newsstand. Uh, what else did I find? Stuff like this, um, Garth Innes Punisher. I think this was two bucks. Um, just to get the idea, this was a couple bucks of you know the, the scope of what you can find at um, this con. Uh, you can also find really cheap slabs. I think this was, I think I paid 70 bucks for this. Um, this was the one and the incentive, or the retailer incentive, sorry. It wasn't a ratio, so. Um, just a great book to, to pick up. Uh, I grabbed this one, um, basically, <laughs> uh, within a few minutes of on our way out. I think uh, we made a deal. Actually, Dracula picks up some, some books as well. I think ultimately this came out to like 50 bucks. So that's a great uh, deal. I do want to find um, this book. I missed out on the, the drop. This is a 616 Comics exclusive, the Clockwork Orange homage. Um, now let's get into some of the other um, books that I picked up. Um, Sometimes you just have to say yes. You pass by a booth and you're like, wow, I just, I just need to pick up those books. These three books are just that. Um, this was from the Aftershock booth. What they did was they took a lot of their, took a lot of the comics that they, they have in their lineup and they did metal covers. So this is We Live One. This is just a fantastic metal cover. So I had to have that. This was from, these two were from Carnivore Comics. So this is the Errol Diaz, Something is Killing the Children, 25. What a beautiful book. She was there, so I had her sign it. Uh, also at the booth was John Yang. Uh, this is a Recount, issue one. But this is the, uh, that's awesome, he also signed it. Uh, metal cover. So they did have an exclusive for Trificon. It was a red cover. I think they made 50 of them, but this is the error. I think they only made 50 of these as well. So in terms of rarity, um, I think it's just as rare as that uh, red one. I couldn't get a copy of that. Uh, some friends did. I just uh, didn't show up in time. A couple other things I wanted to do was support some of the awesome people in the community. We stopped by um, Three Men in a Basement. It was so, I can't tell you how, how much fun. Um, happy it made it um, happy it made me to finally meet Roger and Otto from three men in a basement uh, they had some books for sale so I thought I'd grab uh, some I think this I'm not sure if this I think this is one of the exclusives from Megacon uh, Obi-Wan uh, I think Roger had these for sale so I grabbed those I think he also had this I've been looking for this for a while uh, Voltron one I think this is the Canadian newsstand I have to check I'll put it in the post that at 75 cent this is just in beautiful condition. I would definitely want to have this in a 9.8 at some point. Uh, so grab those. The other uh, books I grabbed to support people. Oh, I did bring this one down with me because I knew uh, Javon Jordan uh, was going to be there. So this is Astronaut Down. I had him sign that one. That's one of the books I did bring with me to have signed. He um, had some books at his booth. I grabbed. This is, I think, the Megacon exclusive. He also signed it. Thanks, Key uh, Homage. Uh, San Diego Comic Con. Also signed at the top. And then I grabbed this from another booth and brought it back to him. Um, I'm just obsessed with his art. He's a fantastic artist. He is definitely up and coming. He's going to make some big waves. Um, this was from the uh, Bronx uh, exclusive, Bronx uh, Comic Con. Um, some other books that I did have signed. Oh, the other thing I had uh, Javon sign, I brought some uh, Lay's potato chips ketchup. He signed some bags for me. I know it seems weird, but I thought it was kind of fun. 
So on his IG, he had signed some other Lay's books and I was, or other Lay's chips. So I was like, I'm going to bring some. He's like, sure, man, I'll sign them. No problem. Uh, speaking of signatures and speaking of other awesome people, the Pressable Defects guy, Matt, uh, Jay. Oh my God. Salt of the earth. So much fun. So much fun to hang out with. I'm just so happy we got to meet and hang out. But I did bring, they had their, or I brought this with me, their Vampirella exclusive. This is the Virgin. There's a, a bunch of different versions of this. There was a sketch, there was the tree, etc. But I had Butcher, I had Guy, and I had Matt sign it. Fun times. The other goal that I had was to get some books signed. Jim Shooter, Sam De La Rosa, Mark Bagley. So I brought some books for them to sign. I waited till the, the last day when the lineups weren't too bad. Um, I just basically walked up, uh, had a conversation, dropped the books, signed, and uh, was done. But Jim Shooter signed a couple of these. Secret Wars 1, no charge. He is a fantastic person. Um, was happy to meet him, big fan. Sam De La Rosa signed my Lethal Protector, has one of the best signatures in the industry as well as Mark Bagley, he uh, signed it right there. And Mark also signed this minty copy of 361, I him, first Carnage, second Carnage, 362, he also signed. So I was happy about that. So that was the, the other goal. Um, so yeah, trying to find some, some cheap books in the bins. I, I could have probably taken a lot more time to dedicate to dig through those bins, but I had, we were meeting friends, hanging out. I did have the agenda to trade some books, find those specific slab books. So I tried to balance it all out. Um, also to support some of the artists, support um, some of the other people who had booths there, you know, um, just like that. Um, the other uh, agenda I had was to grab a couple higher end raw books. Um, I was successful um, with part of it. Um, one of the books I did want to find raw, I'm just in love with this cover, Tales to Astonish 93. Uh, also to find it in a pretty good price. Uh, this is in pretty good shape. I'm going to call this, I'm going to say maybe it's a six, but uh, that is just a, a killer cover. I wanted to find that raw. They had a few graded copies, but I don't know. Some books I just want to find raw. The other book I wanted to find raw, uh, was uh, Fantastic Four Annual 6 and Fantastic Four Annual 5 um, in good condition. But this uh, presented itself. It was a great price. I think I got a couple of the raw books with the two. But Fantastic Four Annual 5, I think 6.0, presents really well. This kind of book, square bound. But yeah, just a, just a beautiful uh, book. But buying this for the Silver Surfer solo story. I'm gonna hang on to that one. All right, moving along, I will talk about finding some more deals. So, um, you know, it's just about communicating with the dealer, wandering around, there's tons of books um, on the racks, so you have to have a bit of an eagle eye for what you're after. One of the other books that I was definitely after I was gonna try and find it raw, but it, it's really ambitious because it's such a tough book to get in a 9.8 because I definitely wanted it in a 9.8. I saw this at uh, one of the booths, I think it was the second day near the end. I was, we were heading back to the hotel and it was posted for a price. I think it was posted for, I think it was 250. At, at that price, it's it was pretty good. I think this is, this is reaching like $500 at its peak um, during the craziness. Uh, I offered him 200 bucks. He said yes, so I grabbed it. Oh, this book, Century One, but that cover is just, is just brilliant, right? Jay Lee, can't uh, go wrong with that. So I think that was a pretty good deal to grab that. The other book, uh, this was tucked away in another dealer. So uh, I'm trying to complete the trifecta. Uh, I'm a big fan of Black Suit Spidey. So I do have um, a 141 team up getting graded. Um, I have my 9-8, uh, Secret Wars 8. The other book I did have was an Amazing Spider-Man 252. 
it uh, came back as a 7.5. I want I sold to a good friend of mine in the community, Dave Mason. I'm happy it's in a new home, but I wanted a newer copy and I wanted it in around nine, nine, two, nine, four. That was the budget. Again, everything within here, I had a budget for what I was willing, my max I was willing to pay for. If it, that, uh, I couldn't work out the deal with the, the dealer, I walked away. So I saw this at, it was kind of tucked away um, in one of the, the dealers in the back. He only had a few graded uh, books. It's just beautiful. Amazing Spider-Man 252 newsstand, 9-4. So it was, uh, I think it got a four. I think this was 350. I think was a fair price. I think that's what I, I think I also got a few other raw books from him, but just a beautiful book. It's like Spider-Man 252 for the PC. Um, I kind of knew that 7.5 when it came back, I knew it was gonna try and upgrade at some point. I put it up for sale in one of my whatnot live streams. Uh, Dave got it for a fair price. I did, um, I did okay, but I'm just happy it's in a new home but that is one way to upgrade your books. I will get to the biggest trade that I did, but before I do, one of the other books that I was trying to find and the boys who were with me know, uh, cause I said it in the car on the way down, I wanted to get a Ghost Rider one, specifically in a 7.0. It's in that price range that I want, it's in the budget. And I just love the way six to seven fives, eights present, the, the covers are usually really nice. That was uh, what I was after. Searching around, searching around. Last day, we're just about to leave. Uh, I walked past a booth and I saw a 6.5 sitting way up top. I asked him if I could see it. And he's like, oh, I have a 7.0 as well. I was like, let me see that one. So he digs it out. What was it? Ghost Rider 1, 7.0. Pretty stoked to have this one. He was very firm on the price. Um, he gave me a little bit of a discount. Uh, it was very fair, so I'm pretty happy to have this. To be honest with you, I'm just, uh, this is for the PC, so I didn't really want to walk away from the deal. I could have, but I didn't want to. This is just a beautiful book. It's gonna pair nicely with my Marvel Spotlight 5. But at some point, maybe I'd like to get an A5, maybe to a nine. Um, but I'm, I'm really happy with a 7.0. So, all right guys, the, I made two trades. I'll do the bigger one last. So I made two trades. I brought some books with me. I brought a Hulk 180, 6.5, I wanted to upgrade that. I brought my Fantastic Four 49, 3.5, I wanted to upgrade that. I brought my Avengers 8, 4.5, I wanted to upgrade that. I bought a Journey into Mystery annual one to trade. And I think that was it. I was wandering around, I think this was the second day. Uh, I had my Fantastic Four with me and I had the, what did I have with me? Fantastic Four, I think I just had the Fantastic Four with me. Uh, wandering around, I wanted to find it in a four five. Why did I want to find it in a four five? I will show you in just a second. This is why I wanted to find the four five. Cause I wanted that horizontal um, collecting in terms of grades. So it's gonna, you know, this is this this is gonna have to change, and you'll see why in just a second. Um, so I walked up to the booth, I saw one uh, graded at a 5.0. So I pulled out the FF49 and 3.5. And while we were kind of talking and negotiating, I was like looking down at some of the other books he had. And I saw another one that I wanted to pick up. So I threw that into the mix, and he gave me a basically a, a, a group discount. So what did I pick up? Fantastic Four, 49 and a 5.0. So at some point, either that FF50 is gonna have to go up to a 5.0, it doesn't really have to, or I'm gonna upgrade them both to a six to a seven. Ultimately, I would love to have this in a 7.0 and I would love to have that FF50 in a 7.0, so. But, you know, I'm now, this is my first foray into trading. So I'm, I'm a little bit more confident going in with um, the knowledge of, of pricing, um, past, present, and anticipating future, and just being confident in, in dealing with, um, you know, the seller of the dealer. Most of the dealers that, that I encountered were more than willing to uh, entertain offers, uh, very flexible. Most were, wanted to, were willing to upgrade. 
for me because they're downgrading. They're taking my book. They took my 3.5, so they're downgrading. Um, so there's value in, in both, both of those because they're probably making money off this 5.0 and I'm upgrading to something, um, you know, and, and the value that I had in that book increased. So it kind of washes itself out. The other book that I saw that he put in and into the group deal was this beautiful 7.5. Yes, it's a CBCS, a Tomb of Dracula one. This is just gorgeous. Just looks awesome. To be honest with you, I don't think it was ever pressed or clean, but it's, it's a very clean book. It does look like it needs to be pressed. It has some, it does have a couple, obviously some, some spine ticks. The corners have some issues. I'm not sure if it's gonna get more than a seven, five, maybe, maybe an eight, but more than likely I'll probably keep it. Um, but it's just a beautiful book for the PC. So in that trade for the three, five, we did them both. And he knocked off a chunk off, off this and a chunk off of that five O. Just he, he knocked off more as soon as I grabbed that Tomb of Dracula. All right, guys, last book. And I learned a bit of a, a lesson. Um, so it was the first day. And the lesson I learned is to be patient. I'm usually very patient um, when trying to find books. This is the first day within the first few hours. Um, I really wanted this book in a 7.0. I did see them later on. Should have taken my time to wander around. Am I uh, unhappy with the book I got? No, not at all. It is a beautiful looking copy. It presents so well. There's a couple issues in the back, which is fine, which makes the front look stellar. Um, so I did trade in my Journey to Mystery Annual 1. It was a 4.5. What did I get? I got an Amazing Spider-Man 129 and a 5.5. Uh, I don't believe I can get an upgrade to, um, sorry, I don't believe I can get a bump in grade. Uh, there's a couple, you can see them in the back. There's a couple issues at the top, some some uh, wear um, that do bring it down to that max at 5.5. Five. But guys, the, sorry, the front of this book is just beautiful. It's gorgeous. That's why I got it. Presents so well. And you can find those and usually because they have issues on the back so yeah so those were the the, the books guys um you know I, I i got some signatures i upgraded some books i found some some um some of the slabs i was after so just a ton of fun again first time at an american con it was awesome so much fun to hang out with everybody um three men in a basement those guys are just amazing pressable defects all those guys are, are fantastic. Um, I didn't mention uh, Nemesis Prime. Uh, Justin is awesome. I'll put a link to uh, everybody's um, YouTube or what they do in the in the description. So many more people that you know uh, we hung out with, um, chatted. Uh, DJ Lynx was there. Um, he's friends with actual Dracula. Again. Um, uh, Joel Newby had a bunch of people he knew and we all, you know, everybody got introduced. It's just a ton of fun. If I never came back, if I did not come back with a single book, with a single trade, I would be more than happy just to be there, just to hang out, just to have that experience. It's so much bigger in scale than any Canadian comic convention. Um, I definitely want to go back. I definitely want to make it a yearly thing. I would love to do it twice a year, but it's just fantastic. Uh, I can't express it enough. All the people that I met and uh, hanging out with everybody. One of the, the bonuses of specifically going to this one is because it's at uh, Mohegan Sun, it's at a casino. So it's very self-contained. You're at the, 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 the show, it's very easy to be like, we're just gonna go out, we're gonna grab a bite to eat, we're gonna grab a drink, everything's really contained. I imagine if you go to the other larger cons like San Diego or uh, New York, you know, once once the con's done, it's probably hard to, to um, you know, get together with people. But this is very conducive to that. It's it's a very, you know, collector friendly uh, con. So definitely want to go back for sure. Uh, guys, uh, I have recovered. I'm feeling good. Um, I'm still on the high. Uh, these books are awesome. Everything I, I had my goals. Uh, I exceeded those goals. So I'm super happy. What can I say? Uh, 
I, I just uh, I just can't believe that uh, it was that fantastic. So I'm just going to leave it at that. If you guys have any questions about the con um, or just want to chat, leave me a message here. Um, hit that like button. Subscribe if you're not. Uh, hit me up on IG. Follow me on whatnot. I have my weekly sales. Uh, oh, that was the other thing. Anybody that's watching this, um, I did one of my largest whatnot sales from the hotel room on Saturday. Anybody that showed up, anybody that bought books from me, I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, maybe it's because I was tired. I was a little hungover. It was a very emotional experience. There's a lot of books that uh, I was very attached to that um, I moved. I moved to try and get into kind of books like this. That's the, um, the goal of that. They went, all the books went to a good home. Uh, the show was extremely successful. I just want to thank anybody who joined me personally and uh, I really appreciate everybody. So follow me on Whatnot, uh, weekly sales. Um, they've been going uh, very well, so I'm super happy. Uh, Whatnot's been a great platform, so. I just didn't say that. Anyways, guys, that's all I have for today. I hope everybody has a fantastic day and I will um, talk to you soon.